Hello, Gemini. Hope you are well. What we're doing here in the very first video reading for the month, sorry, for the month of January, for the year of 2023, for the sign of Gemini is we're looking into areas of your life because it makes it easier for you to understand what the guides are actually trying to show you. So we're separating um, the reading in areas or in sections. <clears throat> so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2023 for the sign of the twin, which is you, Gemini. Before we then look at your emotional core, right? Um, which means if there's, if there's love coming in, what can go, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. Opportunities, for the most part, will be about what sustains you financially. But don't quote me on it, because sometimes the guides go off on a tangent, and I just have to follow, because medium meets the guy in the middle. I only work here, and whatever comes up, I will say. Now, what will happen here this month is I'm not going to use my cards. I'm using my galaxy balls, which are sort of crystal balls, but they have little resins in it, and that allows me to see them as a galaxy. So it's astrology-related. And I have two of them uh, that I choose uh, to use this month for the readings. So I have one with dolphins, right? And the dolphin one, should I feel drawn to it? The dolphin one is about perceptions. It's about how you see the world and how people see you. So this is this means should I pick this um, this galaxy ball? Everything you hear, you should look at it a bit more detached and see it in the scheme of things, if that makes sense, right? And then I have the 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 galaxy ball with the dragon. The dragon is associated with the element of water, but also with the color gold. Gold is a conduit, uh, which means it is a connector to, to the heavens and you come from the stars. So um, that is all more about your strengths within, right? how you really truly feel so this one should this one should this be the one that is going to be going to be used for the reading um it's more about see it everything you hear or the, you, you know you perceive from the guides answer it from within so now let's have a look what i'm actually drawn to you're getting the dragon All right let's have a look so first the um Gemini, we will look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for your very sign. Okay, so the first thing I would say to you, or the first thing I'm seeing here, is, is that there is obstructions. So there is, you, you can be, or could be, your own worst enemy this month. Try not to be the person that is the naysayer. You don't need to do that at all. There's plenty of, of, of people around who are naysayers. Don't pay any attention. Don't be the person that talks yourself out of it, of anything. Because as, a, as an energy, Gemini, you're obviously the twin. And in the origin story of your sign, uh, the twins, uh, Castor and Pollux, were, were children of Zeus. One was made with an immortal lady, the other one was made with a human. So one could live forever, the other one couldn't. Um, but they got on so well that the immortal sibling asked his father to make the other guy immortal. Um, and Zeus didn't have that strength. You, you get a conscious, make him immortal. But I can turn you into stars. And then you, the two of you can be there for 10 million years and then you both die. This is just the origin story of your sign. What that really means is that sometimes Gemini is missing that inner voice, that other part of yourself that says, yeah, you're awesome, you're doing it right. So sometimes you are, or you could potentially be a person that is uncertain about a lot of things, even though you will have learned so much by now that your own soul knows you can't really fail, but that part of your brain um, that kind of goes into uh, uncertainties is quite awake uh, in January, because you have you have um, literally you have literally the dragon's tail um, in the way of your own galaxy, which is your free will. Now, what is interesting about this when you when you look at the depiction, um, the dragon is also associated with the South Node and the North Node, and the the South Node is this part here <laughs> is your karmic side. So when it comes to Karma, this is going to be the month for you, Geminis, 
where you probably look should look into your ancestry maybe look into your how your family works with one another and understand that sometimes you're just focusing on energies and situations that you can focus on at another time right we all come here um, burdened we all come here to to work on some karma that we have had right if that makes sense the point they're making with you is you're not here to suffer understand that you are not here to suffer and there's a part of you that that sort of takes stuff on that isn't yours and in january unfortunately uh, gemini's that energy is quite strong so the advice would be to step back a little remove yourself from people who are needy and that does not necessarily um, meant as a negative term but if you are people that a person that gives of course you will attract people that tell you their crap all day long because you enable it you allow it right not everything you do um is 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 healthy right just think about that in any case now let's look at the um emotional core see what what can go emotional core like i said is about love and maybe about trauma that can be released so now let's have a look what the galaxy ball reveals for you hmm. quite powerful you have what i would call string theory which means there's different parts of you that want different things this is about relationships by the way <clears throat> so there's a part of you that wants change that wants a more varied relationship and yet there's a part of you that's quite comfortable <laughs> so the point here is for relationships and that goes both ways that's for people who are in a relationship and for those who are not the 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 message here is is to look at what is it you really appreciate or would appreciate within a relationship if you have it then january is the month to speak up and say your piece and maybe it can be brought into the relationship if you are not in a relationship if you're one of those gemini's that aren't in a relationship at this point in time then manifest um, what you really want but manifest diversity allow for change to happen it will not be january this month it's not going to be an, a month where where things are steady right so this feels like a very um could be a month full of change for you but it's going to be uh, subtle so i'm not going to get here massive things but just be honest, just understand this so with regards to relationships it really is about figuring out what it is you really want and then have the guts to say it so that it can be implemented into your life okay so my friends let's have a look at the overall sorry a little, a little, a little, a little. <laughs> let's have a look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of january 2023 okay okay the opportunities that i'm seeing here only really work when you allow yourself to to not sell yourself short i'm seeing a galaxy here and then there is basically three planets that all that that all go up but they're outer planets which means they're they're about you know um having an erratic orbit what that means is if you really want to have a better position so even if you're self-employed and you want to make sure you call the shots then you have to talk to the venues you work with um, and make sure that they're not interfering with you that's the energy that i'm getting here is opportunities will come your way when you realize that when you are getting stronger it might mean more work for you but in the end you can handle it so don't settle for less don't don't stay with stuff just because it's convenient and understand that in this month um gemini's you might have to begin and start diversifying your work okie dokie that's all i got if you like my work you can now, now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com medium thomas would really appreciate it please like subscribe and share and gemini's i see you next month Bye bye